making playoffs after our start was just unbelievable. The fact that we actually came back against all odds and made it, um, I still like, it's, it's hard to describe like, uh, it, I don't believe that it actually happened. So it was pretty, pretty unreal, yeah. I think versus XL, we're definitely favorites. Um, Origin, I think went 0-2 last week is our, is our other opponent. And I think we can win. Um, I think that one's going to be a lot more to do with draft and how we perform on the day. So I would expect we win at least one game this weekend. And hopefully, I'm, I'm really hoping we can go 2-0 and keep the playoff stream alive. It is lost. It is the worst draft of, of this week. Without a doubt. Really? Without a draft, this is. Oh, no. Some of the other ones were like playable. This one, they're really bad. But they wanted to play Arkham. Yeah. They wanted to play. This is what they wanted to play, no? They were going to pick Camille on three if we can pick yeah. it. And they were going to pick Camille and Ben Jax, I think. Yeah. I just feel like as soon as they locked in this champ, the whole draft just becomes bad. In my, in my books. I want us to keep an eye out on TP advantages and disadvantages before we make a play. Time summoner spells, play around them, and just be confident, guys. We're here to fuck them up. Like he has cleanse, but no flash, okay? I, I can just flash on Ezreal, okay? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. gonna look, look, actually. Actually, if I ulti Yumi here... Yeah, we can look, look, I'm look at TP. I'm looking at TP I'm now. Looking. Second wave, we got Ash in the top. <laughs> Top edge running forward. Yumi all gonna be used. They already burned the Yumi all on the catfish, but it was all just a big bait. One more time, baby. Big Mac. One, two, three. That's it. Gilius takes him down. Hey. XL, they look like they had a bit of reprieve, but the ultimate comes through from Gilius. Oh, that's gonna be it. There's no coming back. He's sleepy in the Golden State. Special gonna run for the hills, but that's gonna do it. Shalka, my god, what a dominating performance. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, playoffs, boys! Nice. Chill out, chill out, chill out, push. Kill this guy? Kill the next society. Uh, this guy don't have flash, by the way. No! Nice, nice guy. Let's go! Nice, this is Johnny Camille, hype train, nice. man. Let's go! Two of us are going to be one for now. Hey, come on. Good question, good question. I mean, I think you want to pick Camille, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Job trees. Good job, man. Good job, man. Good job, man. I was really sweating after draft. I came in here and said, sorry guys, we did this. The best. No, Actually, yeah, man, when, when I saw the draft, I was like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they are fucking Jax, Yumi, Galio. How unstoppable can this guy be? Yeah. Um, final question, Odo. Uh, we're talking about the miracle run, the possibility for Schalke Nul Fear, and it is going to be incredibly hard, obviously. What to you uh, is the single most important thing that you guys as a team are going to have to focus on in the next couple of weeks? Uh, I think just take it game by game because I think that if like there's still four games left in the split and even like even like that mathematically if we win all four games it's still not really like a super high chance that we make playoffs so i think if we just focus on our performance first to like have good games and clean games against the teams and we get wins from that then if the gods rule it in our favor then uh, we will make playoffs and win worlds but if not then uh, yeah that sucks the hard part of making the playoffs or making the god run is the next few matches so i thought this one most likely would win I thought the draft was very sketchy. It was not what we expected, and I came out being very, very worried we would lose. But somehow, we just stomped them, so I'll take it. My goal was that when we started 1 and 10, was to not end only with one win, and just kind of try and get some wins and not suck. And it just kind of like happened because Obviously, Schalke and the casters and the whole population milked the SO4 miracle run. <laughs> I, I wasn't like really a believer, I guess. 
not in the sense that like I didn't care or like I practiced less or I played uh, any different than I usually play. Obviously, it might be different for others. Like for Gilius, uh, Gilius is a firm believer that uh, we're going to Shanghai. So if you ask him this question, you'll probably get a different answer than mine. <laughs> Dreams. Yeah, what, what a wild draft. Oh, no. So it's good or not? You don't know. I think it's good, but it, they're, they're just the all arena. Oh, they have? They have Lucian mid, they have Blitzcrank bot, they have Aatrox top. Triple useless champ. I mean, we are kind of expect expecting Lucian mid, no? And let's see, this dragon could be influential. If Origin pick it up, they are one away from the soul. Yes, you've got a very good rocket grab onto Odawande. He's going low. The devour was fantastic from Dreams. Bought a lot of time. Call of the Forge got split OG. And now Abadage, he's already taken down Nuketuck. He flashes to safety. The tower's still up. OG are wrecked. OG are locked in between the Royal Blue. And they are going to get aced. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the double double. God, Gilius giveth. God, Gilius takes it. If he it. steals this, Baron. God, Gilius needs to rise up for the Royal Blue and Shulk and Nulfia. He's got Flash, he's got Smite. Neon's he's got still a here as well. Plan from Neon. 4,000 HP, 3,000 HP, 2,500. Oh, he goes to the rocket gun. Pulled inside, Flash down, goes back in. Gilius, he steals it! He does it! Gilius, you are a god amongst men! We can end mid here. Help Maybe. Tom. I have ult soon. I have ult now. Can't do much right now. I'm pushing to red. Let me get him. One I'm, kill. I'm so kind of. Yeah, One kill, please. Stop, Stop stealing it. Ending the ending this. <laughs> We send them to Shadow Realm. <laughs> we need a lot more than this. Our We're the fucking best team in the fucking our, league. Man. Our miracle run is still staying. Let's go! Fucking miracle run. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, group hop on the deck. Let's fucking go, guys. Let's get shooter of us. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah man. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a cringe huddler as well, but I think it calls for it. Great job, guys. Honestly, guys, let's just finish the split with no fucking fear whatsoever, okay? We go, we have three games left. We win them, the split is in our hands, okay? Yeah. Nobody thought it was even remotely possible, but here we are, okay? So, let's do it. I guess Shaka, 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 Shaka. Go down, though. Don't slap each other. <laughs> One, two, three. Shaka! The, the goal is to just knock OG out of playoffs and make playoffs ourselves, you know. And if we if we make it happen, it's gonna be the biggest miracle run in EU history, I think. Yeah, Odo is the kind of guy who's like, yeah, guys, don't get any hope. Uh, just take it game by game. And I'm here saying stuff like, we're gonna make playoffs, guys. We can do it. Um, I mean, today there was a graph on Twitter, like 4% chance for us to make playoffs. Mm -hmm. And I I'm still believing. We will still work really hard, and if it happens, it happens, and then we make worlds, you know? Wait, so, like, 4,000 or 5,000 possibilities just went down to make this by now? But every time you do this, half the possibility is deleted. Yeah. That's just how it works. But not half. Depends. Depends. On this one, if OG wins, it's not half. It's like a quarter. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no! If OG wins, it's very narrow. Narrow. Oh. But, 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 of these possibilities, a lot of these are quite likely to happen, by the way. Mad winning, G2 winning, this Mrs. Chris Vitality is unlikely for sure. Wait, see, so Mad versus this so four in that? What, what, what yeah, because it's seven wins. So if Mad or oh, oh. You know what I mean? This yeah. Really what if you go zero three? can you make it? Uh. <laughs> I don't know, I think everyone, when, when we went against Fnatic, everyone was just kind of hungry to win, to, uh, to beat them, because they were kind of like slumping as well. And we were kind of, uh, we were blessed by the miracle run. And I don't know, I guess everyone just kind of wanted to make it happen. And Fnatic was in a bit of a slump, so 
we weren't really like nervous or anything. I, I, we didn't really feel like, you know, if we lose, then it's over, you know, we're just playing because you're in the situation where you don't really have it like in your hands. So all you can do is just play and, uh, and get wins. So. If our first picks, like Kate and Senna Bali, are um, unbanned, we ban Bali. Okay. So if they're not banning just first picks, double first pick, ban, we ban this. I think if they ban Senna Bali exactly, exactly Senna Bali there, I'd like to mention. Against Fnatic, I think the game plan is just to have the most solid composition of five champions that you can, stuff that you're good at, you're comfortable at, that makes sense together and then try to take out of like attack what we thought at least at the time were their weak champion pools. Because we felt that if we were solid, um, they had a decent chance of like kind of crumbling um, as they had been on a bit of a loss streak at the time. So you know if um, Hilly or Bripo or mid jungle goes bad early, uh, you have a pretty good chance of kind of running away with the game. Oh my god, that's an insane pop-up. No, when you win a game like this to make playoffs, it's like, because this is the one they had to win. Kurt was having a laugh, man! Holy oh, shit! Wow. Upset just instantly. It's a really, really big win. Yeah. Guys, they're playing good on stage, no? It's up. Honestly, I was way more nervous for the other teams playing. The teams that we don't have control over them winning or losing. And I think we all had kind of had this feeling in the back of our minds of what if we win all of our games and we still don't make it. Um, and that was this little kind of terror in the back of your head, especially on the last day. Do we have team speech or we just go? No, just one thing. Just be all five involved in the same play, even though it's not directly affecting you. We have nothing to lose again. If we see a good play, we go for it, okay? By the way, Teleport's still not available for Buipos. He's pushing the bottom lane. And we've just randomly caught Hillisang. Fnatic looked at Shalka walking towards them, and they've lost one. Now Reckless was caught up by the Tempered Fate, and here comes Buipo. It is the turnaround. It's a 5 on 4. Buipo is destroying the HP bars, but there's no support. There was no follow up and dive. There's the slide and the glide, but the Emperor's Divide was on hold. That's the engage. That's a catch. And now Reckless is left alone. Gilius was able to lock down Nemesis, but the Empress Divide is with Reckless stays alive long enough to get out. How did he do that? The bone skewer into Showstopper. Gilius flashes off the wall. Finally, Reckless is taken down. The Hex Deck Ultimate blocks in Nemesis. The Corky is down. It's a double kill for Robert Dage on Azia. He does indeed. Very good. Or does he? Fate. It's Hillisang he again. Around. Hillisang thinks he does, but it's a trade of one for one. Neon manages to take out Nemesis, and now Fnatic are running for the hills. Whippo cannot get away from the CC. Glacial Prison's available for Gilius, and he's not even going to need it. Let's go! Oh. No! No! I think oh it's not really God. over, by the way. It's over, I think we can, I think we can, I think we can. It's over, it's over. It's 20 seconds, 20 seconds. I already called GG. The impossible odds in front of Shelka, and they do it. No! Yes, now it's over. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit. Let's go. Let's go. It's fine you died to the gank, but oh, after yeah. 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 so you know, yeah. the end of the Yes, no, that's when you win the fight. So we need to only start screaming if they're killing the Nexus. Because what if they're going and then they respawn and they have to start fighting and we're all screaming? There's a difference because it's really obvious. Like, that's it. Yes, but, but you know what I mean? What about, remember, you think Larson wasn't saying let's let go when he's on Corky and then he's suicided to the fountain? I don't want my players to lose their focus and then package into the fountain and then die. Like Larson. After the game, obviously, I'm feeling happy to win and keep the winning streak. I just did some like mistake during the game, so I will try to not <laughs> do more mistakes for the future, and I will try to keep the good, good performance and keep wins. 
after the Fnatic game, I think uh, I was immediately a bit worried about the next match. Uh, you know, like you immediately start thinking about the next match. And even during the whole process, it was almost a bit like bittersweet or sad because I still felt that like there was a decent chance we could win two matches and not make it or win three matches and not make it. So it was like, I hope, I hope, but I don't want to get my expectations too high and more just focus on the task at hand, so. Mert, how are you, bro? How do you feel? First of all, I want to say we, are, we were sweating because it was so hot today and so much humanity, you know? But I don't know, it's happening. Do you still believe? I mean, if there is a Schalke logo, if, if you are the Schalke, if you have a Schalke soul, soul you, oh, there's always hope and we will do it. I believe it. So we went into the final week um, using half of our practice to practice specifically um, to prepare for a Fnatic match. And we uh, use 50% of our practice to prepare specifically for a Vitality match. Yeah. Literally, this chat is you clear three camps, you get a predator, and then you're just running bot and perma ganking and not even clearing your camps. This is like the most ganking drug yeah. that you can pick. Yeah. Trundle is also an option, by the way. Trundle is better than. If Trundle is much play, better than Dark. If we want to play front to back with Tom, I think Trundle is really good. Yes, I'm fine with Trundle. But Trundle also seems like monster pain, by the way. Yeah. Because they have Tom. I felt the Vitality match was going to be actually our most challenging match of the week. Uh, they had taken games off of some top teams recently, and I actually thought that they had a lot of talent on their team, although I didn't think they're the best team as like a five. I think they have a lot of talent and ability to outplay us if things go poorly. And it was more just like, how can we let our five-man unit shine as being just like overall more coordinated and better than their five-man unit? Comp still standing. Schalke scrambling to find these kills, but they won't get the opportunity. That's a triple dot. That's big damage coming in. Oh, you were worried about the Kha'Zix, but you didn't know the Shen hit like a truck. Gilly is now coming through the fight. Stealth going to have a brief moment here. Going to find another one. The reset comes out. Dreams, Abadage. Little girl, little cat. What can they do here? Taking down the big bam. Oh, <laughs> There's nothing you can do, Cabo. You're Run. just gonna be embarrassed after this one. Your champion has no agency. Oh. <laughs> Opportunity to auto-attack, but hasn't found it quite yet. Skeen's going in, Volibear going in. Gilly's, Gilly's got it. Go. Gilly's fans it. And Neon now on the chase. LeBron's made it out for now. Magical journey through the wall. Good damage coming in from the backside. That frozen mallet making it impossible to get away. The binding will not connect. And look at the damage coming in from Abadake. Odawande over the wall. The Ezreal over the backside. It's just too clean. Shalka are mowing down Vitality. Comp can do nothing in these exchanges. The flash forward for Neon, absolutely no hesitation as the triple goes down for Gilius. And that's it. Nexus exposed. Shalka, the miracle run alive. They will have to step over the body of Vitality to make it happen, but they're more than happy to do so. Oh! Oh! Nice job, guys. Yeah! Oh! Oh! After that fight, Abed, they showed the EU Zoe statistics. Three in ten, three wins, ten losses. <laughs> and then they showed the damage graph. We did 7,000 damage in one team fight. <laughs> I guess when I saw other teams losing and we won against Vitality on the second day, I was like, holy fuck, we there's actually a realistic chance that we can make it. But then I realized that if there would be a three-way tie between us, Excel, and Vitality, we would somehow lose it, even though we have more wins in the second half of the split. And then I became cynical again, and I thought that uh, <laughs> we're just going to go home. <laughs> but their side selection uh, began to abuse of this. Oh, side. they get thrown out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, imagine. The, the thing to win, to get into playoffs, is facing your ultimate fear, the Sona. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. From rank one team in the league, you face oh. the Sona. I mean, I said it, like I was being cynical and memeing in the office that we were going to win all, our, all of our games and go 8-10 and go on seven game win streak and still go home. Because that would be just like, that would be just kind of a funny thing to happen. Like a, like a really sad, funny thing to happen, so. It's a lot of pressure apparently after, uh, especially after our current win streak. Like people kind of like expect us to keep winning, right? And we obviously want to uh, keep winning, but it's still like probably the toughest opponent we will face this split. So I don't really want to think about it too much for now, and I'd rather just like enjoy the time right now. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna make it count. 
for now we just got to hope for the best for the other, other standings. Um, I think we can win tomorrow as well and we're going to try our hardest and to keep the run alive. It's going to be a tough one but I think we can win it. We are definitely on a really nice streak right now and it doesn't have to stop tomorrow. Do you want to give like a final speech for the game tomorrow? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> We, we, we will go in, do or die, you know, like it was today, no difference. Maybe a harder opponent, but it's for sure doable. Like, we beat G2 as well, so... Uh, and I think Fnatic was not even playing bad yesterday. It was a strong Fnatic that we beat as well, so it's for sure doable. Uh, thanks for all the support, guys. Twitter is going, like, all the hashtags and all the, all the posts are really nice. It's nice to interact with you guys, and yeah. We will try our best tomorrow. Um, there was two matches that were extremely important to us after we won against Vitality. One was XL versus Fnatic. If we were, if XL was to win this match, um, almost everything would be in our hands. We would just win and we'd be through. And there was even a crazy case where we would make it anyways. So this match was really important, and unfortunately, it did not go our way. It was very one-sided, and then we were kind of not. Uh, our fate was not in our own hands. Um, the second match that was incredibly important for us was the Misfits versus Vitality match. And this one was a bit special because both Misfits and Vitality were technically already eliminated. So we kind of relied on the fate of two teams that were already out of playoffs. And we really, really, really needed one team to win to have a much, much higher chance of making playoffs. So... Nice! <laughs> Someone's in the spirit. Huh? Someone is in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. I'm the biggest cover fan in the world right now. Alright, Kevin is still in game. 43 minutes in. He's still in game. So it's gonna be a late one. Okay. It's gonna be a summit. Oh shit, man. It's a banger. They're probably gonna get the mountain rig and that's all the game up for I know a bunch of my guys are friends with the guys from Misfits and we're all just kind of like talking to them and trying to hype them up to get like the best prep and just try their hardest to try and win this game for us. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Kevin. I was way more scared about this Misfits match than I was about our own match, to be honest. Um, us being in the hands of other people and other people's performance felt so much worse and so much more nerve-wracking. Um, so yeah, obviously I was really thinking about Mad Lions prep, but this match was so actually so important for us, especially because they were losing for the first, uh, I think, half of the game. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, boys! Yeah, I know Maurice was texting me as well. Really? Oh my god, dude. We're alive, boys. We're alive! Now we have to take off the Yo, guys. We win this. The Mad Lions game, I think, went really well. I think we had a solid plan. Um, we had to play our first game on red side, which, at least in that week of, of the LEC, was extremely unfavored, uh, just the way drafts were. And we had a hard time trying to figure out which of a very which very strong champion we can give the enemy to basically play against. Um, we thought about it a lot, uh, a lot of like heated discussions, and I think we finally came to an agreement on on a draft structure that we really liked. Um, it wasn't like all of our favorites, but I was pretty sure that if the game was normal, we didn't get snowballed on with the way we chose to draft, we would just win. Objectives when we need to. Don't enter your waves and just 
If you have bomb comp, just wait for level 6 and we bomb them. Okay, so we got the 2 on 2. Arome's gonna step backwards. Gilius takes a lot of damage, forced to flash. Shadow chases as well. Arome's being chunked down by Odo. Gilius goes low first, blood secured against Gilius. Although they've burned it down, Tempered Fate comes in, buys enough time. Humanoid Shadow are going to be waiting around inside the pit. It's a Who spike fight, it? and it goes the way of Gilius. Of course it does! That's the first dragon for Shalka, delaying the dragon win condition. Humanoid gets a massive double W inside the pit. Now Gilius is getting... Watch Karzy, though, watch Karzy! Oh, hopping, skipping, jumping to Ren. What's fantastic? He flashed he it! Forced to flash! He just survives a few seconds longer, but does get taken down in the end. Odo and Odo Abadage chasing. That's a flash over the wall for Karzy, and they manage to take him out. Humanoid gets chunked out, and here comes support from Shadow. Abadagas picked the fights and or got, has a fight picked with him. He's bringing the damage down. Abadage. He's not going to be able to do it, but that's the instant trade. Top for mid. Inside the pit is Kaiser. He's in a little bit of trouble. He's got the flash. It's two shutdowns, but it's more worth for Mad Lions. They still have a mid laner. They still have an ADC ready to go for the fight, but can they land the smite? Yeah, Gilius has done it so many times in the past few weeks. Lecture Prison goes out. Odo Wamne forcing out Kaiser. Shadows in. Inside the pit. The smite is not going to be available just yet. It's going to reset. It's, it's Gilius again. Gilius. Okay, nice. Nice. Can you no Nash? Can you Nash? Oh, Romy's gonna be able to flash away from that glacial prison. The tempered face buying Looking so much forward. time. Abadaga is gonna be able to win the fight. He takes down a Rome. Now Neon is forced to run for his life as the Stanch United will complete. Gilius is now, with the help of Abadage, pushing down that top lane. Dreams and Neon, that's the flash! flash. He manages to catch Humanoid! Humanoid's able to escape with the flash over the wall. He dashes away with that Mimic. Now Kaiser and Shadow backing out. Shulker, they're not giving up yet. That's the chains connecting onto Odo. Forced to be devoured there by Dreams. Abba keeps pushing forward. Got no rockets in the inventory. This is potentially good for Mad Lions. They have multiple skirmishes in a bigger 5v5. This is where they thrive. Gilius is down, but it is at the cost of Kaiser. Look at Rome. Arome. Arome is trying to hunt down Neon, but he can't do it just yet. The Ranger's focus comes out in the volley as well. Neon stays alive, tries to run for his life before finally he's taken down by Shadow. Abadage, who was jumped on first. That's a triple. Be the last That's one. a quadra. He's going for the Penta. He's got the flash available, and Humanoid's going to be too mobile. He escapes with his life. The zero What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Ash is on the verge of picking Went up for the fight. Win. The soul is It's in Gilius it. again! Gilius does not lose those! Mad Lions are inside the pit. They're chasing. They've lost one. They're stuck. They're done. There's no ways. This is the game for Shelka. They've won the fight. They're gonna get the ace. They're not gonna lose a single person. And they've got enough time to push down the base. Can we end? We can end. We can end. We can end. We can end, maybe. Mid, 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 mid. It's oh, all sure. thing. I'm not gonna scream yet, okay? It's over though. Just caught with really sad faces. Uh, can, we really only hit? can we only hit, by the way? Abadag, you're the best yeah, player in the world, by the way. Only yeah. hit. <laughs> I agree on that one, by the way. We actually did it. I can't yeah, believe we it. We did it. Like, we're so good, by the way. Only yes, hit. let's act like we lost, okay? Okay, yes, yes, okay. Yes. everyone's sad faces, okay? Oh, we fucked him. <laughs> How fucking good are you, man? I'm cold. Let's go, bro. Oh, holy shit, guys. Holy. Let's go. Did someone hide me for the last fucking year, man? What? No, I said this. I clicked the loss. Motherfucker, man. Did you guys believe me when I was like, no, no. I mean, the game yeah. against Mad Lions is just as like uh, all the all the perfect storylines. The uh, the red side winning only four games out of 21 on that patch. Ash being 0-9 in LEC and we still pick it. And you're playing the best team in the league when you're kind of like last place and you win.
so much stuff like against us that like we managed to overcome. It was this was 20% from Italy. I know, but this was a little bad feeling. Oh, uh, nice draft name, But red side, you still exude it. I know. It's so insane. I actually, actually it's not a lock in Kazakhstan. I was so useful. Yeah. I can't yeah, we really needed either G2 or uh, SK to win their games. And I think we all really, really thought that G2 would win their game. Like, nobody wanted to say it out loud, but we felt like that they, they were on a huge win streak, they're super good, and they're super favored. So it was more like G2, just play normal, play good, just win your game, please, for us, so we can make the miracle run a reality, and they did. It was kind of like everyone was getting ready to celebrate, but we just needed to just make sure it was for real. Is that? No? No! Yeah, it's not on the target! Oh, perks! Perks! Oh, 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 we just said, guys, if we like win every game now, we can do it. People called me crazy in the team. They said, Gilius, we are going home soon. Stop, stop all of this bullshit. But I kept believing and we did it. It's interesting. How, how much of an impact did you have on the team outside of the game? Because I mean, we also, you on the Rift, right? Uh, whenever I talk to Odo, Neon, Dreams, like outside of the game, they will always say, Gilius, it's almost impossible to make it. Like, just, we, we will just try to win and stuff. Like, I actually believed, by the way. I think Abbe and me believed and, yeah, we did it. Not when oh. we were like 1-8 and then you asked, asked both of us where we were going. And, and then I think Dylan said we were going playoffs. No, Dylan said, uh, we're gonna get like six or seven wins and then place like eighth place or yeah. something. You remember, I told you we are going world, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Okay, Dylan, talk to me. Uh, we just... They didn't play off stuff, they're starting to split one and ten. Uh, I honestly can't believe it. Uh, I'm just so happy, like, nobody gave up. Like, I knew we were good, and we knew we were good, and but we were just from such a deficit, you know, from losing, like, zero eight at the start of the split, and I don't know, I'm just so grateful for Burke, uh, Gilius, to come in and bring so much energy. I'm so grateful that Felix just, Abadage just carried so many games, and just everybody involved, like, all of our players, Neon, Dreams, Auto, like, I don't know, even our academy team helped us so much with our preparation, like, it's, it's incredible, and I'm just so happy with that, we, that we did it. It's a true miracle. Yeah, it's a real miracle, Rania. Yeah. I hope, like, I hope now we can go Worlds, like, that's the story, right? You do this, then you win playoffs, one or two best of fives against hopefully weaker teams, and then you just, you just go Worlds. You just go Worlds. We'll see. And that would be a nice, um, nice I'm just happy that for everybody that's involved in the project here, that we get to show that we have a team culture, um, a staff, an atmosphere, and a mentality here to not give up and to try our hardest to win. I would love to win one best of five. I would love even more to win two best of fives and go to Worlds. But for us, like, we're just going to try and push ourselves as hard as we can for the next two weeks, have the best preparation possible, and see, see what happens. Okay, see, the thing is... Oh. I said, I think it, we were like one in 10. And I said, if we go in playoffs, I'll get a Maokai tattoo. But now we made playoffs and now I don't want to get it anymore. See, that's the problem. You need to be jacked as fuck to have, to go for tattoos, I feel like on like your chest or something, you know? Else it just looks like that. But now I'm, uh, Oh, but I thought people, I thought, I thought it wouldn't like get enough retweets and people wouldn't see. So, did I understand the right? First, if you get checked and jacked and then you get your tattoo? No, because my arms are okay, so I can get something on my arms, but... 